as much as you want it to um, and you can set the time on that by just double clicking on it down here and you've got the time in seconds and the opacity and all that other stuff um, if you click on window capture this is essentially like monitor capture except it will only capture a single window which obviously sounds quite obvious but I personally choose monitor capture because it reduces the chances of um, windows not locking uh, and what I mean by that is sometimes some games will show up as a black screen if you just select them as window capture depending on how the games are loaded if you choose monitor capture it will just pick it will just grab the entire screen no matter what's on it um, that has plus and well it has good and bad sides let's just say that um, it will have sometimes uh, you'll have too much on the screen that you don't want to see like the border and all that um, but one way to uh, rectify that problem would be um, let me just call this monitor we're going to select uh, um, I'd say my first monitor right now is pretty much not being used I've just got Photoshop on that. Um, you see now I've disappeared because this is another thing. Um, I have four sources on the screen now and uh, you can actually layer these. So because um, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the screen I want to move this to the bottom. Uh, move to bottom which is the order. Uh, you can go up and down singular singularly which I can't say probably. Um, and then, but we want to move it straight to the bottom, so we'll click move to bottom. There you go. Just to demonstrate what I meant by moving singularly, it means it'll move one at a time instead of all the way to the bottom. And the same applies to moving to the top, as you can see. Okay, so there, uh, we've now got a picture behind us. Uh, so I've got a green background. Here's the, the next part. I, was, I said I was going to have a separate tutorial for the green screen, but I'll just show you quickly um, how this works since the green screen is already here. We're talking about the software technical side of it. Okay, so you want to double click on the webcam. Uh, you want to click on use chroma key. I have now got no hair. Well, it looks like my hair is transparent. That's because the default is white. And obviously there's a lot of white casting from the light and the reflection of the light which is behind me um, like I said I will go over that stuff in another tutorial but um, I'm actually using a light pointed at the ceiling which is bouncing light down on me as well as behind me um, so you want to click on select and you want to select a portion of this green screen this is when it gets annoying as you can see this is not an even green uh, in fact this isn't this green screen is actually quite bright green, but I actually find that the camera that I'm using is uh, the white balance doesn't quite match. The reason for this is because my light behind me is actually white and that my ceiling light is actually yellow. And this means that the white balance can't find any in between, so the way the particular webcam I'm using uh, tries to match it is it, it gets it almost right on on both sides but it doesn't quite make it so I end up with this sort of like dull greeny like gray color um, I do need to get a different ceiling light or better yet just have more bright white lights which I will go over in that tutorial okay so now that I've selected this background you can see it doesn't quite match best solution is just to keep clicking around until you find a spot that just looks good. You want to just now click on this arrow, raise it up to a point that looks about as if it fits. Uh, we'll put it at around about uh, 38 seems to be nice. So we'll just up this uh, to about 90. You just want to play with this until you don't lose your hair basically. You could always just lower this one and then raise this one, but you do end up with similar issues with being clipped out from the background if you do that. Um, that looks okay. So 
full rock for that. For now. Um, you want to click OK. And as you can see, uh, it's not perfect, but it, it's OK. Uh, you know, it's mostly it's mostly covered that up. And maybe if I'm still too small, I can just be that big. <laughs> I don't know why I'd want to be this big on screen. But. OK, anyway. Um, so this is the main screen. Now if you click Lobby, there's nothing there because we haven't made anything. Um, here is another issue you may come across when you're uh, streaming. Notice how when I switch between this screen and this screen, it pauses for a moment and then you notice how it lags with the webcam? That's actually because the webcam is not selected as a global source. Uh, the global sources control what's permanently loaded on OBS. Um, what that means is if you want to have something that always stays on the screen um, regardless which scene you're in uh, okay sorry that's, that's not worded right basically it means that this thing will be loaded in its current state throughout it won't be in the same place on each scene it'll just have the same um, loaded state so for instance see this uh, this changing um, this changing banner at the top here these two logos, um, whatever's actually currently loaded on the screen will be that current one at the point when I switch. It'll even switch within fade as well. And the same will apply to the webcam so that you won't have any lag. So just to demonstrate what this will actually do is I'm going to delete this uh, webcam because you can't do a global source if the webcam's already selected and a lot of people would have this issue if they tried to do that. So you want to click on global sources, you want to click add you want to click uh, video capture device um, yeah video capture device you know, type webcam in here and now we want to do exactly what we did before except uh, we just want to click OK now it's not going to be a green screen um, Okay, so here we go that's now added as a global source as you can see there now to add it in here you want to click on add and you want to click global, hover over global sources and then click on webcam then we click OK, and now we have the green screen. I mean, we now have the webcam again. So we didn't do what we did before. Just crop it in like so. I'm just going to quickly select the background. Zoom in probably about here. Place this over here, upscale this. And now, when we switch, it doesn't lag. And a cool thing now is, if I also want to, uh, since this is called uh, Lobby, I click on Webcam. Um, this is now selected the whole screen. Uh, so we'll just crop this in again. And we can make this one huge. Now this is a, a common thing people do, either they'll have the chat on the side over here, which is something I might actually do. And then now you can see when you switch between them, there's not a delay and it just fades nicely. I'm using the arrow keys to switch between these. Um, but here's another pro tip. You can actually assign a key by right clicking and clicking set hotkey. No, it's Supermax. Wow. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Got that right. Anyway, um <laughs> See, back in my day we didn't have all these fancy gadgets. But we just had to walk around the battlefield and crouch when we needed to and then It sure is spooky out here. Booyah Get it? Booyah. Like I'm Scary, Scary punk ghost. Punk ghost.